Alola Internet. I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for some more Pokemon Moon. And you know, I noticed while saving, we're missing like one, two, three, four, like five, maybe or four. I don't know. Type Z crystals, and I know for fact that we've been missing flying because I've been pointing it out this entire game. I kept saying, I can't wait till we get flying. Can't wait till we get flying. Is flying like that early of a simple type gonna be a post game thing? Seriously? Now she said lab B, so I'm gonna go in lab A first. Cause this is the one where type null was being stored. May I have it please? This may be a spit sudden coming from me, but I'd like you to have these. The d oh. Okay, whatever. Sure, I guess I'm cool with that. Oh, uh, the prison bottle. What's that? The soul dew. I don't remember the prison bottle. If these are all hold items for certain Pokemon, they are all Pokemon related items that Madame Lusamine planned to put in her collection. Okay. If you like, I can tell you what any of them does. The prison bottle. The prison bottle. Apparently, a Pokemon called Hoopa to change its appearance. About time! Okay. I got you. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, ah. Uh. Why do we have to wait an extra generation? Like, the, the card set and the movies and the anime, like, they all showed Hoopa Unbound. And I kept thinking, why don't we get that? You know, it made no sense. It doesn't really, I mean, I don't know. That was just weird. Same thing with Zygarde they did with this too. So why I feel like this is, like, Pokemon 6 and a half gen. It's not really 7th gen. It, it's like we went almost all the way. But we had to finish some things that we forgot to do in the last generation. So anyway, um... It's random she just gave us no I guess it makes sense with the soul do but that's awful she's trying to catch all them but you know uh, even if it comes to the desire to keep all of your beloved Pokemon by you always using Pokemon put them in a cyrogenic sleep is too much Pokemon who sleep now I'll keep them safe so they can someday return to their previous state you know what's the difference between that and Pokebank honestly What's the difference? What's the difference between that and the P.O. Box? What is the difference? It's all the same thing. They're trying to make me feel bad for them, and I'm like, sure, at first, seeing them frozen like that was haunting, but when you think about it, once again, most of this game, when you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. It's just illogical. But whatever. Oh, I see. Are you doing work? Is this you working? Okay, I get it. I get I'm not going to read the computer again. I already read it. Ah, uh, yes, the master of the UVs. Disclosing info on this is prohibited, so let's please keep this between you and me. First, please take these. Ten beast balls. Okay. You open the item's pocket and put the beast balls away inside. Is that like a master ball? The international police asked me to pass them to you. What are they? These are beast balls, which are ether foundation developed in great secrecy. I read all about it. Don't, don't worry, it's not a secret. They are a special kind of Pokeball that are specialized for capturing Ultra Beasts. As a result, they are very expensive to make. Yes, I read about that too. So we have not been able to mass produce them. Please consider your timing very carefully. Uh, please, please consider your timing very carefully for when you use them during battle. Well, how do, how do they function? I mean, is it like a times eight capture? Is it like good odds or something? Then, but only on an Ultra Beast. You gotta tell me this stuff. The appearance of the UBs is something that we at the Foundation are to blame for. Yeah, but apparently nobody knows about it, and it's a secret to everybody but the international police. Just say, don't don't worry about it, lady. Just don't worry about it. Apparently nobody knows. That's why I will do whatever is within my power to assist you in this. For now, perhaps you should return to Miss Annabelle at the motel in Akala. She may have discovered new info. Um, oh, that's it. Okay. All right, Aaron boy, on the on the go. Ba -na 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 -na. Aaron boy, ba -na 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 -na. Aaron boy, where's Gladian? I wanna get type null. I put him in my pouch. That's what I wanna do. You know, honestly, um, I am gonna look for him. I'm gonna say um the conservation area. Wild guess. Let's go top down, cause right now we're at the bottom, and I think there's only one floor above us. But still, gotta run all. Over. Oh God! Oh! Oh, he's, oh, thank God, okay. Just in case, I wanna check this out. Just in case. All right, so, um, what's going on, mister? So you came. I guess I got you to thank for all you've done for my family, especially for Lily. Please elaborate, because I need you to explain so many things. So many things that I'm not gonna get into right now. Though, you know what, no, we're talking to him. 
I'll, I'll let him finish this thought though. But I will explain, like one of the biggest problems I have with this game is with him. I never knew that she could smile like that. My mother's desire to reach Nihiligo and what she did in order to achieve that goal, I know she was completely out of control and her mind. But that doesn't mean I can't understand it. That, it was my father who started it. Okay. He was the one who first confirmed the existence of Ultra Wormholes and Ultra Beasts. But my father, he disappeared during an experiment trying to conduct an, wait, no, trying to connect to an Ultra Wormhole. Oh, oh, uh, oh, is it Looker? Just a guess. He disappeared. I don't know, I guess Looker because he's like a fourth gen, you know, spacey time. He's, okay, Looker is inspired off of the Doctor Who Doctor. And that's the whole idea, you know, spacey, timey-wimey. It's why he showed up in the fourth gen. So, it only, you know, makes me think they're gonna go back to that. You know, that's how he started. You know, he got sucked into this thing, but that's just a random guess. All that he left behind was a weakened Cosmog and his papers about Nihiligo. Lucermine's obsession with Ultra Wormholes and her obsession with the Ultra Beasts. I think it was... All basically her way of trying to reach him again. Did I save in vain? I had a feeling he was gonna be like, here, have a type null, you know? That's why I hard, leave hard to believe, though to get through it. It's not an apology of anything, but I hope you'll take this fellow. Oh! I am gonna have to soft reset. Okay. Okay. All right, well, anyway. Yep, there is a type null. That's awesome. But, oh, I guess I'll look at it in the decks. Why not? And yes, it evolves into... Silvely. Now, I want to hear what the Pokedex wants to say about this, because this Pokemon, I don't even know how to describe it. But well, my circuits are tingling. Yeah, because uh, it's supposedly its name derived from the fact that when trying to register it to the Pokedex, it comes up as an error message which says type null. But that I think gets thrown out the window because they said before they were originally called type full. And that was in reference to the fact that they were full of all types. And that was a failure and then resulting in calling them type null instead. So, I don't even know what to believe anymore. It's like two different people had ideas of why to call it this, and then they both got put into the game. Due to the danger that this synthetic Pokemon may go on a rampage, it wears a control mask to restrain its power. Wow. Gotta say, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, but I will be going for this sucker. And I'll have to go for it later. Uh, because, um, that's the only opportunity you get to hunt for that shiny. Oh, you gotta go through all that dialogue. Hey, it's not the starter. I am so lucky I saved right where I did. All right, sweet, and I got lucky. He was right where I was trying to... Wait, today's a fine day for registering Pokemon. I smell the Dexing in the morning. Okay, that's great. Um, the docks and the lab area. Oh, the entrance is where I want. Conveniently, he was who I was looking for. Um, but anyway. Moving on from here, they said for us to go back to Akala. And Akala is where I will go because Aaron Boy is on the go. Him and his cow pants have things to do, places to go, stuff to, I don't know, fly to. Alrighty, let's go here. So we got, oh, there we go. We got, um, Melamele, Akala, and here we go. We're going to go right back on here. Funnily, where Gladian was staying at one point, which is why I was thinking that's got to be him calling us here. But, um... What I wanted to complain about Gladian, because there's some serious problems with his story arc. Huh. We don't have the time for it at the moment because we just got back. Aaron Boy's on the loose, remember? If I remember, I, w I will continue. Hi, I'm back. I wouldn't even gone that long, but I picked up your balls. Welcome back. It would seem you managed to meet with Miss Wiki. I also expect Mr. Looker will return shortly. Uh, you and the Astro. Disastro. Why? Is something the matter, Mr. Looker? If he spoke in English, I might understand. Why is he so bothered? Why would he just yell in Spanish? Oh, wait. I was going to say, is that not him? Because his hair is different. But it was only from behind. I'm sorry, it's a terrible habit I picked up. But we have a disaster in the make. When did that... I don't remember. I think I've seen everything that is Looker and is every appearance he's ever made. I don't remember him speaking in a different language for some reason, but maybe it's my memory. Sightings are being reported of another UB01. It's a symbiont. And the prep has been right here in Akala, right under our very noses. Oh, cool! They're missions. 
This is awesome, Annabelle. Then, Mr. Looker, Mr. Hamster. What? Astronomical timing this is! Looks like you have a job to do. I don't care. I mean, I'd rather not wait around, you know, randomly. Like, one out of five chance on each day you turn your game on. You have a chance at them telling you that you can find an Ultra Beast. No, just, just, let's just get it over with. My task will be to protect the populated areas. Hamster, you will go where the sighting was reported. Mr. Looker, you are to stay here and coordinate our backup. Should we need it? Okay, so, you, Hamster, do all the work. Looker, you stay here and go to sleep with me. We're not going to do anything. I see. I like this plan. Backup is a vital part of any operation, Mr. Looker. We are entrusting our safety to you. Right. Yes, ma'am. I will stay here and do nothing. And will you help me? Then I'll be going ahead. Hamster, stay safe. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna help me? Go look out there, Chief. What is she doing? Young Hamster, do take care and keep yourself safe out there. If you ever are in need of more information, you may come talk with me. Alright, you just wait here for me to do all your work. What well, am I getting paid for this? Seriously, am I getting paid for- Did they tell me where to go? Hey, Rotom. Rotom, where am I going here? They just said Akala. Where the heck is it? Don't tell me I'm gonna- I'm not running everywhere just trying to blindly figure out where this is. Looker, you tell me right now. You show me. What is this? Something happened? You need information from me? I finished the mission. You must not lie to the international police. It will be overlooked this once, but be warned. Looks like... Oh, okay. I was going to say, what if I lied twice? Roger right, that, young uh, companion. Okay, fine. You're not going to tell me where to go. Instead, I'm gonna have to run around blindly until I find this thing. That sounds like fun. Okay, great. Well, if that's the case, um... See, so I don't want to just run around blindly for an entire episode. But, um, I guess I'm gonna have to. I got a little bit of an opportunity... Ah, one of the berries, but nah. I got an opportunity to complain about what's-his-name. Oh, Colrus is here. Why? You there. Do you know the Pokemon called Genesect? Yeah, I have one. I have no choice to admit that you are all I would expect you to be. I was just complaining that you showed up for no reason in the last um, last episode. The cannon's abilities could be activating using certain drives created by the scientists in the P2 laboratory. I think that you might be able to use them as they should be used. I don't have Genesec, though. Thanks, I guess. I don't know. Game's got to give you all these things somehow. Okay, thank you. If you guys are curious, this is how you get them all. Yup, thanks. Simply believe me, your Pokemon will not guarantee that you will do everything you want. There are many things that are guaranteed if you fail to... Yep, tell me your thesis again one more time. Is the trust between a trainer and Pokemon that alone that can overcome these hurdles? You there. Uh, she knows this is the battle facility on Pony Island called Battle Tree. Okay, I look forward to seeing what kinds of trainers and Pokemon I can encounter there. Hmm... Sounds like uh, we're going to have to, when we run out of Ultra Beast stuff to do, go there and, uh, you know, do stuff. Because maybe the stuff we do there, you know, will be stuffful. <laughs> we'll be stuff full of stuff to do. Where am I supposed to find this beast? This Ultra Beast? You know, screw it. I'm not going to run around aimlessly for this long. I'm going to try and um, figure out where we're going. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna just going to... Just give me a bit. I'm gonna try and find this thing. Hey guys, I've been randomly running around and um, I went all the way up the volcano thinking that maybe it was up in there, you know, where we had the fire trial and no. Um, but the only thing that I'm finding that is kind of weird from running around the island is that um, the music particularly going up the mountain, listen to this. I mean, it might have sounded like this before. I don't know, but it sounds way too ridiculous. These things might be rumors. Yeah, what the heck? Why, it's a rumor. Okay, um... Is it anywhere on the island, then? Oh my gosh, it's probably roaming, and you gotta find where the music is. I thought the music was strange. That's why I was saying something weird was up. Okay, so... Why it glows, I don't know. But, um... 
How are we gonna catch this without killing it? Um. I say, um, we, um. Remember, for whatever silly reason, it is rock poison. So, um, Rathian is being resisted with both types right now. So I say we actually go, um, maybe fire. See what it does. We're gonna do very little damage here. Yeah, tell me about it. Power gem. That's gonna hurt. Ow! Oh my, it hurt. Oh. Man. Beast boost? Special to- Oh, oh, that's not good. Um. Okay. I say what we do instead then. Um. Man. Man, I don't know. Papaya's gonna get killed. How about Retro? You can block a hit. At the very least. And paralyze it. That'll help a lot. So, um, Thunder Wave for sure. You're gonna need that. Buzz it. Awesome. Now I might stop it every other turn. Power Gem, it got away with it anyway. So there goes my disguise. That stinks. And Kerplunk. It's alright, Mimikyu. We can still do this. And with what, though? Oh, uh, it better not hit me with a poison move. I say, um... Leech Life? Maybe Shadow Claw. Let's Shadow Claw. Please don't kill it now. Come on, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, God, okay, it, it was. Ow! You know what, um... I don't want to waste a beast ball, but I don't know what its odds are. I have no idea what their odds are. Designed to catch Ultra Beast has a low success rate for catching others. You know what? Um, I'm scared if we get any more than that. Let's try our beast ball. Come on, I got it paralyzed, and it's at least in the yellow, right? These are great, right? One, two, three. Yeah! They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Whew, gotta say, it's like the most obnoxious looking Pokeball I've ever seen. Ever seen. But I guess I'm cool with it. Because they gotta be ridiculous to encapsulate something like that. Retrograde to 63. Holy cow, that thing. I wanna see that thing. Now, Nihaligo's dad will be added to the Pokedex. Nice, whatever it is. But, so it's a Pokemon. I, I can register it to the Pokedex, therefore it is a Pokemon. No, it's an unidentified Pokemon. Go check it out quick. All right then. So, um, what we got here? I'm gonna listen to it and stuff. Why are you rock poison? Why are you rock poison? You are the antonym of rock. But whatever. Do anything else? No. One of the Ultra Beasts. It's unclear whether or not this Pokemon is sentient, but sometimes it can be observed behaving like a young girl. That's very creepy. Very creepy. Would you like to give Nihelago a nickname? No, so I can learn its name. Um, you know what? Why not? How about actually throw it in the party? Well, do we really want to do that? I was going to say, let's throw, you know, Kieran is the obvious pick here to keep switching back. So we can have one of the Ultra Beasts in the party at all times. That'd be kind of cool. Nihelago will be out of the party and Kieran is now sent to the box. Kieran has done a great job for us so far. You completed the mission. Report to Looker. Now, what if I KO'd it? Seriously, what if I had killed it? Wait a minute, wait. Is this really what the music's supposed to sound like here? Because... Yeah, I didn't remember it being so dynamic. I went into this thinking... That's not right. Something is, like, so wrong with this area. But let's take a look at this sucker. Nihiligo. There you are! Wow, okay, so, um, it is modest and likes to thrash about. I don't know what that means, you know, in terms of this. Um, actually, it looks really good in terms of this. Um, it's gonna be having a boosted special attack and lowered physical attack. Um, what are its stats? I, I can't even see. Oh, no, there they are. Yeah, I'm, I'm not used to them being in the circle like that. Um, it's actually darn good. It's actually really good. I mean, sure, it's not physically defensive, that's really its downfall, but other than that, man, it's actually a very good Pokemon. I'm um, very surprised. Power Gem, which it loves spamming. 
Mirror Coat, Venom Drench, which, of course... Ah, uh, why didn't it do the garbage moves? I don't know, it was all out for death on my team. Whatever, we caught it. So it's time to head on back to Looker and report our findings. So, Charizard Glide. Jagoom, boom, boom, boom. It's going over to that motel. You know, there's another motel on the other islands, right? So, are they gonna be moving there when the Pokemon are on different islands? I don't know. I don't know at all. I should, I should heal. Because, you know, unfortunately, Rathian, I keep Rathian out front because Rathian actually faints a lot. <laughs> and um, I want Rathian to grow more and catch up with everybody else. Plus, it's a shiny Salazzle, guys. I gotta. It's too awesome. It's too awesome. I have to. I'm sorry. So. Yeah, stairs. Ah, uh, darn st uh, steps. Ah, oh, steps. I can't walk. No, anyway. Hello, Mr. Lookings. Many lookings upon thee. Um. I finished the mission. Amazing, Bravo. You've done it. I must call the chief back at once. Huzzah! It has happened. We have succeeded in our mission. I should have saved. I should have saved. She better not fight me again or something. I think I can win. She did. I finished sending the data from the UB you protected to HQ. Ah, all sorts of letters. And to Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Hamster. Can I get paid? This development, I think you will be able to solve the mystery surrounding Nihaligo. Well, regardless of luck, congratulations are in order, young Hamster. Why did you have to, like, undulate to say that? I'm sorry, maybe I like, I, the great looker, I think I shall provide a great feast to celebrate your success. I am getting paid, as long as it's pizza, you know what I mean? We're getting paid with pizza. That's how you do it, right, looker? Yeah, uh, six, uh, great, celebrate your great success and your addition to your team. Our team. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's my Pokemon. Unless you meant me working for you, in which case, um, I guess pizza is in order. There's some rather tasty restaurants here on this island after all. Oh, but would you look at? Uh, but how would you know that, Mr. Looker? We only just arrived in Alola. Um, I read about them in a magazine. They had in a local paper. I think he is. I think he seriously is the husband character who got sucked into space. He's been here before. He knows this. Why are you not going? There's more to this. There's more to this. You have to be that guy. Don't worry yourself about the details. I'll go and ask if they don't do delivery. From the last episode. He has to be, um, Lily and Gladian's father. He has to be, right? My goodness, I'm Mr. Look. There's no other weird coincidence why he would have known that this island... I don't know. That's, that's my theory. There was one thing I wanted to tell you. The original plan was that the UBU call would be collected by the international police. However, we have been able to secure official permission for you to keep it, Hamster. It was a bit of a hassle to get you all the details, Iron, but... You know, what if I caught it with my own Pokeballs instead? I put money into it, and you wanted to take it from me. Um, how about screw you? You wanna fight again? You wanna fight for it? You wanna fight for it? I know you going down, girl. If we take the UB to headquarters, it will end up as a research subject. Yep. I, well, happier staying with you, hamster. Do I even want its happiness? I don't know. Sestun catastrophe! Mr. Locker, yes, what is it this time? If the English, if you please. I'm sorry, this is a bad habit of mine. Bad. Alright, never mind that, we have a disaster. We've got a tip about the new UV sighting. This time, the sighting was on Melameli Island. I'm sorry, but we'll have to put off our feast. Okay, I understand. Let us hurry to Melameli Island at once. Yes, ma'am. I will go ahead to Melameli Island and set up a new base of operations at the motel there. Please join us there as soon as you're ready, Hamster. We'll make for Melameli at once. We're trusting in you, Hamster. Don't forget, the Melameli Motel is on Route 2. Okay, we're going to Route 2. Or at least that's where I report when I'm done with this fiasco, is that right? At least that's what I'm gathering from what they're saying, but... If it's gonna require me, like, randomly running around all over the islands trying to figure out where the heck I'm going, I'd rather figure it out, like, I'll just check online, see if they really are roamers or not, because that would stink. It really would stink. Roaming legendaries 
They were cool in second gen, as in like, so rare, wow, but now it's like, I don't know, it's kind of different now, like, you gotta report, oh no, it's, it's a catastrophe, this thing's loose, but nobody knows where it is. It's clearly doing nothing wrong, and I can't even tell you where to go, other than which island, so in that case, I'm gonna check offline, it's not that big of a deal, but still, it's very cool, we have another Ultra Beast to track down. And we're going to be doing that in the next episode. We're going to be hopefully getting some more story about Looker as well. I'm very interested in that. Surprisingly, I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's going to add up to more to the main story as well, as I was saying, you know, in episodes past. But either way, there's going to be a lot to end down in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Moon. Bye.